Welcome back, everybody. It's Wikipedia. <laughs> it has been too long, my friends. Um, I am on my way again. Uh, yeah, it's probably been over a month, possibly two months, since I've done a Where's Wook episode. Sorry for the uh, lack there. I've been really busy playing other games like Hearthstone. Don't need more cows. Um, so got a list of things to talk about. Number one, um, I wanted to talk about this sooner, but uh, this is the first chance I've, you know, had to just sit and think about what I wanted to say, rather than just being quite busy. Um, so, uh, my Florida trip. We went as a family. Uh, it was my sister, my niece, and my mother and father. And we stayed there for about two weeks over Christmas and New Year's. Went to flea markets and things like that for shopping, went to the beach, went to um, a couple, like, uh, there was a museum we went to, we went to Disney World one day, it was just actually my, my sister and my niece that went to Disney. The folks stayed home and spent time with grandparents, um, that's who we went down there to be with. Uh, do I have room for cows? Or piggies? Let's get some raw. Um, so yeah, my grandparents have a house down there, and that's where we were staying with, who we were staying with, that is. And <clears throat> yeah, it was very nice to see them. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Uh, we drove back, we went through some pretty nasty weather, but uh, it was all safely done. And no major accidents, nothing terribly exciting happened. And um, so, yeah, it was a vacation. It was great. I'm glad I did it. Um, I ended up spending a bunch of vacation time to do it, but that is just fine. Uh, next on my list is Minecraft. Um, oh, no, Mindcrack, the UHC. Um, their next UHC is out. Um, I actually am about one and a half behind. I only got about halfway through the season that they did around Christmas time um, because I was busy on vacation and it came back and Hearthstone was out, so. Um, I really want to sit down and watch those one of these days, so um, I'm not going to spoil it for any of you guys. But um, the new one, there's some cool the cool twist they did on it. I think it's Teams of Two. And they have a proximity mumble server of some sort. Oh, I've got plenty of books. I don't need to kill horses. Actually, I don't even need that many books. Um, so basically, if you're near somebody... You're going to be, when you're talking in your microphone to your, you know, your recording of a YouTube video, I don't know how many blocks apart they, they ha or how close you have to be to somebody, but they'll be able to hear you. So that's super cool. Um, I would love to try something like that. Uh, I'm really excited to listen to this season because you could have like the whole, I hear you breathing, come here, where are you? Like, I don't know if it's directional. That would be almost too good. Like, if you could tell where the people were, but, like, they were talking about it in their podcast, and they were saying that would be really cool with, like, teams of three, because when you get too far away from your teammate, like, if you have to almost yell to make your voice heard on the other person's thing, if you want to say something to them, if you guys are spread out, but you could imagine, like, doing like a game of telephone with another person nearby... Like, if you have somebody kind of in the middle to relay the messages, like, hey, let's meet up here. I don't think so-and-so can hear me say exactly what I just said again. <laughs> um, it could be fun. There could be a lot of antics, uh, and Minecraft is really good at that. Um, they're good at having a great time messing around, and uh, they're good at UHC. It's always entertaining. You guys should check those out. Um, just, I don't know, search, like, Goot or BWO or etho or something and they'll have all of them every one of their videos they have everyone else listed in them so you can just find one of them and then you've got access to all of them um, next I'll be talking about is solitary craft um, I know a lot of you guys are still waiting for the next video on solitary craft um, I think I will do another one soon uh, I I haven't been on the server in as long as I haven't made a video that's I really haven't done anything on there but other people have so I want to get another video so you guys can at least see what other people have done. So if you guys are looking for ideas on stuff, um, you'll at least get that. Um, 
I just have lost ambition to do that right now, and with my limited time schedule, I have to kind of pick and choose what I do with my spare time, and Hearthstone has taken priority. I did warn uh, a lot of people in videos that as soon as Hearthstone is around, I can't promise much, because it's just exactly what I've been looking for for a long time. I wanted a new game to, to cling to. Oh, I do have food on my bar. And uh, I think this is going to be it. This is just... I'm having a great time. Um, so, Solid Aircraft, possibly uh, more coming soon. But as of right now, just got to hang in there, guys. Got to get that desert temple. Um, so, Hearthstone. Um, if you guys aren't even a fan of Blizzard games at all, if you've never even heard of Blizzard or Warcraft, still, check this out. Hearthstone is a completely free game. It does take longer if you don't pay any money in, but it's completely possible to play it for free. Um, there's actually a popular, popular streamer named Trump, and he is... He made a new account, and then within a week, he has... Um, what do you call it? Uh, he's done ranked mode, and he's already at rank 1. Um, he's going to be legendary soon, which is the top. All right. No spiders. Oh, baby, the gold. What can I get rid of here? I don't think I want TNT, do I? I'm going to need blocks to get out. We'll use the wood. Yeah. So, Hearthstone, I mean, it's not even like it's a bad card game or something. Um, it is it is a card game, and it's turn-based, so if you guys are really not into that, you're not into it, fine. But, um... Uh, I definitely recommend, if you guys are open to new types of games, check it out. And, uh... I'll just do that. Is it nighttime yet? Um, yeah, I mean it's 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 great. Blizzard is a really large and powerful company, <clears throat> and uh, they're planning on releasing this game on tablet. I think even on mobile. So if you have an iPad or like maybe an Android app, tablet or something, you could probably play this eventually once they release release it. It's uh, technically still in the beta, but you just search Hearthstone on Google, you'll get it for PC, no problem. But once it gets out on tablet, man, like this is like gonna be the king of casual games. It is so far and beyond Flappy Bird or Angry Birds, you know, things like that. They have great concepts and they're kind of gimmicky or whatever, but there's really not a whole lot of depth to them. Hearthstone is kind of um, deceivingly simple, but it's really not. It, it looks really simple, and a person can learn how to play the game really quickly. But it is just there's a whole made a game for the pros that is so deep and so complicated that even I don't understand half of it sometimes. It's like, why did he do that? Um, so I'm learning a lot. Um, it's a fun experience for me. So definitely check that out. I just actually was coached today by a popular podcaster. His name is William Dills Gregory, Willie Dills. Um, he is part of the podcast called The Angry Chicken. Check that out on iTunes. And he also runs uh, part of the show of The Instance, which is a World of Warcraft podcast where they talk about Hearthstone and other things. <laughs> um, so if you're not into Warcraft, you probably won't like The Instance. The And same thing with the other one, like with Angry Chicken. If you're not going to be into Hearthstone, you're not going to enjoy it. But um, I need to hurry up here. Bids. Get in. Um, so great podcast though. If you're ever interested in the game, uh, maybe learn the basics of the game before you listen to the podcast. Is all. Um, but then you're just golden. So um, definitely check those out. And uh, Will Dills does a Twitch stream every now and then. Uh, it's usually later at night. I think it's always been like 1.30 or 2 in the morning when he does it. 
But uh, go check them out on Twitch. It's just twitch.tv slash willydills, S-F, W-I-L-L-I-E, D-I-L-L-S, S-F. Yes, two S's. All right. Um, it, it's a lot of fun to watch people stream, and um, you can usually get a word into chat, uh, a word or two, and they'll see it and they'll respond. It's kind of cool. Um, I don't know how many people he usually has watching him, but I have actually been streaming a lot. Um, almost every night of the week, I've been streaming Hearthstone. So even if you're not a fan of Hearthstone, just stop by and say hi. Um, see what the whole thing's about, you know? You can see what I'm doing pretty quickly. This is good. Um, and that's just at, you know, twitch.tv slash Wikipedia. It's the same as my YouTube. Um, so that's a lot of fun. Come check it out. Hello. Any blacksmith? Blacksmith? That's kind of a different cobblestone. I don't remember there being that much cobblestone incorporated in the sides of buildings like that. And even if there's books, I don't think I want them. There's going to be papers, huh? I wonder... I probably should check trades. Get away from him. Alright. I don't know how there's zombies out like this. Coal for emeralds? No, I need my coal. What am I doing? I need food. Five. I have emeralds. Not gonna check all of them, just a few here. Some wheat for emeralds? No. Do I have a bow and arrows? <laughs> Leave them alone. Um, right, so I was talking and doing things <laughs> distracted by zombies. Um uh, so, <clears throat> yeah, come check the Hearthstone stuff out. I promise you guys won't be uh, disappointed if you're having any bit of an open mind. It's a great little game. It's barely, really simple. It's all voiced over. It's, uh, there's only a few tiny bugs that they're still working out, and those are going to be out really soon. Um, and they're not game-breaking. You can usually get around them. Uh, nothing serious at all. Um, but And that's what you can expect in a beta. Anyway. Uh, time for my movie review section, and this will take up a good portion of the rest. Um, oh, 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 wow, I didn't, okay. Um, so, movie, Lego movie. Got to see that in theaters with my niece. It was funny, 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 hilarious. Um, <laughs> I think my favorite part was Will Arnett as Batman. Um, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but it was really well done. Um, at at first, when I first started watching it, I was like, man, this is almost like a stop motion animation, like a claymation type uh, graphic design type thing. And I was like, ah, oh, couldn't they have done like some, you know, spent some money on this and made it look good? And it's kind of cute eventually. Um, some of the sound effects is literally just a person going <laughs> and like a laser shoots and they're like pew 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 so it, it is kind of cool and I don't know if they did it to save money or to be cool like kind of retro or kind of snarky but it worked um it grows on you eventually and uh so I got over it but anyway uh next movie Robocop it's a reboot um a retelling of the story of the Robocop thing, whatever. I think there was three original movies, and I don't even know if I've seen the whole way through of any of them, but I enjoyed it. Um, it was uh, fairly good. I liked some of the characters that they had. Um, there was a... What was the show? There was a show where a guy was, like, protecting people all the time, and I don't know, it was whatever. But one of the guys from there, I don't know. It, yeah, it makes so much sense for you guys. 
it was a guy from another show that I enjoyed, and I liked his character in this too. He's like the badass guy that's kind of running the robots. Um, scraggly beard all the time. Just a funny character. Um, I'll have to look up his his name. But definitely worth a watch. Um, I, I didn't recognize the main character as in like an actor that I've seen in other films. So good on him for getting a decent role in a newer film and hope to see more of him. He wasn't too bad. Next show is a Spartacus Blood and Sand. Um, it's kind of older actually. Uh, I think the seasons have been done for a while. But they're coming out with a f season four or possibly airing right now on season four, but I watched season two and three. I had seen most of two, but I caught up with it and then I watched season three. Um, definitely R rated or maybe higher than R rating. It is not safe for children. Um, so unless you're of a certain age or if you think you're mature enough to watch it, go for it. But um, it's a really well done uh, show. I think Stars is doing it. And uh, they've got like Lucy Lawless, the Xena, if anyone remembers those show, that show. Uh, she's one of the main characters. And uh, the guy from Avatar, main character from that with the that the cripple or whatever, he was the lead, but he got cancer and died, I heard. And so they ended up replacing him eventually, because obviously you have to. And uh, they didn't replace his character. So his character in the show didn't die. It was just an actor change. Um, which threw me off at first. But the, the, the guy that did it eventually is fine. Um, <clears throat> I have accepted him. But uh, I really liked the other guy. And I'm sad to see that he's gone. But next movie, Frozen. Another kid's movie. It was funny. It was cute. Um, there was some... Uh, very little adult humor that I remember, which is usually rampant in a lot of those kid movies nowadays. They're always just like uh, filled with adult jokes that kids won't get. But I don't remember too many in this one. But it was, yeah, it was a kids movie. It wasn't bad. Secret Life of Walter Mitty. I didn't even watch this one with my niece, but I'm pretty sure it is mostly safe for kids. Um, I don't think there was anything too bad, but. It was great. Uh, ben Stiller hasn't always been a fa favorite of mine, but um, he did a really great job in this movie. Like he was doing some off the wall stuff lately, and not really great movies, but this was amazing. Um, it was really well done. Kind of a stylized feel. He kind of uh, daydreams a little bit, and like he's doing these amazing things, but then he isn't, and then. Like, he's working for Time Magazine, and he's got to go find the photographer, and, like, then he goes out and, like, actually does, like, some crazy adventurous stuff and doesn't think anything of it, really, and just keeps going, and, um, like, he could have been this really interesting person, and then, like, he just sat in an office his whole life, and then he finally got out, and he's just like, wow, it's, it's a really great, ooh, I have melons, but, yes. I don't remember what I was trying to get from these guys. What do I need from the villagers? You didn't open up a trade? What a jerk. Glowstone. Oh, do I need... Uh, glowstone doesn't help me. Not unless I had another work. Yeah. So definitely check out Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Totally safe to watch with the parents or with the kids. Um, great movie. Next movie is The Wolf of Wall Street. Yet another do not watch with children. Not safe for work. Not safe for family. Wolf of Wall Street is you're getting together with the bros. You want a good laugh. You want to make dirty jokes. It is not for kids whatsoever. It, even if you're like 15, 16, don't watch this movie. It is absolutely terrible. It is kind of funny. It is terrible. Um, I think it is second or first for the most fucks in a movie ever. 
So, like, when they're counting how many F-words they say <laughs> uh, in a movie to see how many, you know, yeah, it's it's bad. Uh, definitely don't watch that with your kids. Anyway, moving on. Uh, great movie about, like, guy starts from basically nothing, uh, did some investing in Wall Street, of course. Why did I get... Oh, okay. And uh, he just gets out of control because he makes some money and he loves to party. So, moving on. The following, another show. I had heard about this show a while ago, and I thought that it was going to be new on TV, but I guess it already aired. I'm behind the times on that. Um, I saw an advertisement for it somewhere, and I was like, yeah, that looks cool. I need to check that out. And I was browsing Netflix today, and there's the following, the entire season one, ready to stream for free. Like, all right, let's do it. So... I'm two episodes in. First episode was a little slow, and there was some kind of bad acting. Some weak story plot points, but I like when a psychopath, the bad guy, is a true psychopath. He is so power hungry. He is so full of himself. He is so... What do you call it? Uh, brazen. He's so... Uh, not full of, he's ambitious, he's not the word I'm thinking of. Cocky, he's, you know, he's just really cocky. He knows exactly what he's doing, but he's doing it really well. So it's not like he's a psychopath and he's cocky about it and he's failing. He is like mastermind, crazy psychopath, killing people, convincing other people to kill for him and themselves and whatever. Nuts. Um, so I like that side of it, um, where it's uh, a legitimate psychopath as a bad guy, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. The guy that plays the psychopath is the dude that played Punisher, um, like the Punisher, the main guy. So I haven't seen him around for a while, so good on him again for getting a good role, because uh, he really digs into it, and he you're, you're convinced that he is a psychopath, and... Um, the main good guy is a better known face, but I don't remember his name. He hasn't been in stuff for a while. Dungeon, eh? Is it worth it? Let's dig around here. Ha <laughs> ha! Hello! Let's suffocate them with sand. Oh! Oh! Okay, let's just keep him out of here. Eh. <laughs> I have to be careful, I can't take damage. I think I need redstone, but it's it's hard to get without digging, so I guess I'll grab some. Gunpowder is easy enough on ooh, name tag. I really don't need it. Um golden record. Hmm. 
let's do this. Yeah. Well, I won't. I don't have anything to name. That's the thing. I have nothing to to use that. All right, we're leaving it here. All right. All right. Next movie, or next show. Sorry. Continuum. Um, this one's been on Netflix for a while. Definitely worth a watch. I think season two was unlocked a while ago. Um or whatever they uploaded it they allowed it to be viewed like streaming great show a little bit of time travel timey wimey stuff like Doctor Who but very little of it is traveling it's more just they went somewhere and now this is happening uh, but some cool tech and some cool like paradoxes like do I need to send you back in time because I've already done it and whatever things like that really confusing stuff sometimes but really great show um, it's got Lexa Doig from Andromeda in it. Uh, well, she's done a lot of other stuff, but too. But the first show that I watched that had Lexa Doig in it was Andromeda. And she's just a beautiful young woman, and I love watching her act. Anyway, um, there's some other people that are pretty well-known faces. Uh, Check my tape, Master Braytac. He's in there from SG-1, if you guys got that reference. He is uh, Master Braytac from that show. And uh, the kid is actually known from something. I don't remember what he's from, but I've seen him before. Um, and he's a decent actor. He's doing a good job. Oh, and then the girl. Oops. The girl from Kyle XY, the girlfriend. With, uh, I think she had red hair in that one, too. Uh, she's in this, and she's the girlfriend of the, the kid. And. Um, she was also in Caprica. Um, I don't know if there's any more people. There's some other recognizable faces. You guys will get it. Um, 4400. Great show. It's also streamable on Netflix. That's the only reason why I'm mentioning it. I've seen it a while ago. Um, basically, some people were missing. like They were kidnapped and they never found them. And then all of a sudden they all came back. 4400 of them, I guess. And some of them started showing that they had special powers, and then some scientists figured out, well, hey, we can duplicate this, but this potion or some serum, a shot that you take to get the powers, it has a 50% chance of killing you. So, like, if you guys, and they, like, started giving it out for free, so half the population was going to kill themselves to get powers that, you know, the ones that decided to take the thing. Um, and then they're like, yeah, there's a whole thing, and it's it's amazing, and they canceled the show too early, but there are quite a few episodes to watch. Um, if you enjoy that type of thing, it's great. Another show, Lost Girl. Um, it's a sci-fi show. It is technically okay for TV, but they push the limits of what you can do on TV. There is a lot of sexual content in this. and um, Like the main character, she is a succubus. And she has to choose the light or the dark side not necessarily light is good dark is bad just that's just what they've said and t for the most part light is better like mor morally and the dark care less about killing humans and things like that but um there are bad there's bad stuff happening on both sides of the light and dark side of the fey is what they're called uh, really a great show. Uh, it's got a lot of depth to it, like vampires and werewolves and things like that. Think that at a succubus is the main character, and she has to choose a side, and she says, no, I don't want to choose a side. So she kind of works for both of them back and forth. Um, she's like a detective for him or whatever. Anyway, great show. Check that out. Movie, Stranded. Terrible. Do not watch this. <laughs> I think it's got, like, Kevin Spader, I think, in... No, not Kevin Spader. Um, maybe... Uh, something Spader. I don't know. Anyway, bad movie. Stranded, definitely don't watch it. Like, they're on a moon base, and bad science happens. So they can't get anywhere, and they're going to get sucked out because there's a void in space. And then there's, like, an alien mutation from this meteorite, and it bites people, and it's a worm, and it impregnated some chick, and then it's <laughs> bad. Anyway. There's been some extreme weather lately. Uh, up in Minnesota, they've gotten a ton of snow. Uh, climate change, question mark? 
um, some people are still not believers of the global warming because it had a bad rap, had a bad name. Uh, but overall, we are getting warmer, and it is a global thing. Uh, climate is changing. It's a little scary. If you guys are interested in that, check it out. You know where the Googles is. Last but not least, most definitely, Ukraine. If you guys have not heard about what's happening in the Ukraine right now, it is insane. Uh, there is protesters going on. They're anti-government protesters because there was a bill or a law or something that they were going to get passed to move them away from Russia more towards the European Union. Uh, I might have some of these facts not completely correct, but I'm just kind of summarizing this for you guys so you'd know something. So there was this big thing that was going to be what the people wanted. They wanted to move away from Russia. They wanted to get um, to whatever they were going to be doing with the European Union. Um, the president said, mm, well, no, let's not. And protesters started. So then after the protests start, they like on the first day or whatever, they decided to arrest some people. And that's they weren't, I guess, all that peaceful at the time. Uh, they weren't peacefully protesting. Uh, or maybe they were, and they were just arrested for whatever reason. But they wanted them out of there. And um, things got escalated. The next day, I, something like 100,000 people showed up in response to them, those few people being arrested. And when those 100,000 people showed up, in a 48-hour period, 77 people are estimated to have been killed on either the police or the protesters' side, and over 600 people have been injured or wounded. It's like there is a huge amount of people at riots, basically, protesting. Um, I've seen a lot of some very disturbing pictures, so be careful what you search for. Um, but the protesters, I don't think are 100% innocent in this, but I don't know the full story, but they're showing up in riot gear. There's civilians with pads on with, you know, like riot gear and shields and they're fighting police. Sorry, I had to cough. Anyway, I don't agree with police opening fire on civilians really ever, but if they threw the first stone, I mean, there's pictures of civilians literally making makeshift catapults and throwing like Molotov cocktails and things like that. And if the police are there to keep the peace and these people are literally injuring or possibly endangering the lives of police officers, then they have the right to shoot. But as soon as it gets escalated, it just gets bad both ways and there are people dying and it's terrible. Um, you guys should check out the news on that. You can Google search it. There's stuff on the BBC everywhere. Everyone's talking about it. If you don't know, you're kind of under a rock. Uh, but it's important to know because this is a, a really big thing in our lifetime. It could get really bad really quick. Um, it's kind of at a boiling point right now. Uh, but thanks for listening to me rant. Um, be patient if you guys are Minecraft fans. I will continue to do more stuff. I just have to find the time. Uh, Hearthstone <laughs> scared the crap out of me. Hearthstone is taking up a lot of my time. I'm sorry if you guys aren't into that. Um, I'm actually going to be putting up a video of me and Dills having a conversation. He helped me walk through some of my constructed decks and helped me draft an arena deck. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Um, you can get a, a personal coaching session for yourself if you'd like. You go to his Twitch channel and you donate to him. Um, you have to donate, I think, $25. And then he sets up a time that works for both of you. It's usually on a Saturday. And... You get to play with him talking to you over Skype. It's fantastic. Um, so definitely check into that if you guys are interested in learning how to do Hearthstone and you're willing to invest some money in it. But I did it more for... I got to meet him. I got to play. He got to watch me play. It was a great time. It wasn't really like, oh, please help me, teach me. Like I did learn a few things, obviously, because he's played quite a bit more than me. But it's nighttime. I have to go to sleep. Thank you all for watching. Later.